my name is Luke Bartholomew, and I'm not wearing any pants. As an actress, <laughs> what method do you use to prepare for your roles? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked that question. And, and the answer is yes. I do use a method. And what I do is I find a dark place and I put on the iPod in my mind and I find music within of my characters and I move to that. And it really releases a lot of the character's energy and it helps my character burst forth out of my shell. So it works. In addition to directing, you're also working on the costumes. Can you tell me anything about these costumes? No, of course I can't. What kind of a stupid question is that? Of course I can tell you about the costumes. And they're fabulous, okay? They're more Italian embroidered silk than you've ever seen in your whole life. And we got sexy guys and we got chicks in corsets. What else do you need, honestly? The corsets? Are you coming on to me? Fresh. <laughs> You're gonna look great in this. I can't wait. <laughs> All the corsets look really good. Especially mine, right? Well, all the corsets are gonna look good. But especially mine. I mean, I'm the leading lady. My corset should be the best. It's not about who has the best corset. I mean, all of them are gonna look really great. But especially mine. Christina, my boobs look fantastic. This is the bestest crescent ever. <laughs> wow. Not again. What can you tell me about the cast? Um, from what I've seen, a bunch of incompetent dickwads. And I mean, that's putting it lightly. I mean, I've, I've been playing this game with myself where I've been like reading over the cast list and naming like about one or to five reasons why I'm better than them. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Try me. Oh, okay. Um, Julie. Julie. Okay, amateur. Um, I think she might be slightly crazy she does this thing where she dances to get into character i don't know what that is next Alyssa. Alyssa, uh poor man's reese witherspoon next adrian bag hag next john john cries himself to sleep listening to Joni mitchell next bradford bradford yeah i don't get what he's doing i mean he goes on stage takes off of his sh off his shirt. That's not acting. You won't find that in a Stanislavski book anywhere, okay? That is not acting, my friends. I mean, what I do, that's acting. I, I even won an award, okay? Nathan. Um, yeah, I don't feel strongly either way about him. Nathan is playing Tony Lumpkin. Very talented, very nice guy, but let me just say, he's a bit of a charmer, okay? Sometimes it's not as good as you'd want in a cast, okay? I can't talk personal experience because I'm married, I'm the director, inappropriate, although, you know, never mind. Um, I have been involved in inappropriate relationships, but not with Nathan, no, no, no. Nathan Geary. He broke my heart. He's a whore. Nathan is one with whom I have a long, sordid past. You know, we dated once, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. No, no. I mean, the first day that we started on the show, I might have said she looked nice. I don't know. Something to that effect. But then she got all weird and clingy. I mean, it was very Glenn Close and Fatal Attraction. I mean, the message on my phone and everything else. I heard him. I heard him. But he bought me 
flowers. Beautiful flowers. She bought herself those flowers, and then she'd thank me for them in front of the entire cast. Psycho. Earlier, Julie shared with me her method for getting into character. Do you have any specific method? Oh, sure, I have a method. You want to know what it is? Pain! Heartbreak! I've had my heart broken so many times. But I don't let it get me down. No, no, I don't hold myself up in my room and read Emily Dickinson and cry every night before I go to sleep, thinking of ways to revenge. No, I just move on. Move on. Do you think I could ever catch at the confident addresses of a secure admirer? Does this look like security? <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 